Hi Floss Tube. Welcome to my channel. This is Stitching in the Delta. My name is Carolyn and this is my first episode and I'm extremely nervous <laughs> and I keep recording and deleting. We're gonna do it <laughs> eventually. Um, so I, I've been watching Floss Tube for you know a couple of years now and I've enjoyed everyone's video and I'm I, I'm missing people <laughs> And so I wanted to jump in and and share share some stuff. So well, here we go again. I know my whips better than anything. Okay. Um, so a little bit about me. I'm originally from Alabama. I live in Arkansas right now, and uh, I'm married with no kids. I have fur babies. And so you'll hear me talking about my fur babies. I also have this very annoying light above my head and my husband's um, fancy light that we, we keep trying to place somewhere. He's a photographer, videographer, so he's got all this equipment. He offered to help edit. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. The light's not working. Anyway, um, so... Oh, uh, my background is music. I do not play anything. Um, my, I have a vocal degree and so voice. I sing and I sing at our church and then I am adjunct faculty at a university and I'm also work in the IT department at a university uh, where I do some stuff. So, um, yeah, I do some stuff. Um, I, my, my stitching background, I have been stitching <laughs> since I was very young. Uh, if you remember those little stitch cards that like plastic or very heavy duty cardboard, usually plastic, and you use the like worsted weight yarn and the big plastic needle, that was me. That was um, how I learned. And my mom and my grandma taught me. Um, I skipped a lot of the 90s though, 90s and 2000s, because we didn't, yes, we had a local needle workshop. Um, yes, I probably could have gone in there and fallen in love with all of they, what they had and been doing this a whole lot longer, but it was um, dimensions kits that I had access to and I didn't want to do that kind of stuff. I mean, I've done them. I've done some, but not... I, I didn't have what we have now or access to what we have now. And it's just wonderful. Um, my local needle workshops are in Stitch, uh, Stitchers Inc. in Memphis, Tennessee. And I'm sorry, my charger cable became unplugged. Technical, technical, I need technical. There we go. Okay. Here we go. So local needle workshop for me is Memphis, Tennessee and Little Rock, Arkansas and Stitchers Inc. in Memphis and um, Little Rock. Don't tell them. I'll remember their name. But they're both are wonderful and both will do by mail order and all kinds of stuff. So, um, my stitching style is, I, I don't know. I, this is one that I did many, many years ago. It's Chinese dragon and it's got the gold and it's beautiful. And the, there's a Phoenix that goes with it. That I've never done. I have the Phoenix. I would love to do it someday. Yeah, not gonna do it. Um, there is like the little, um, I'm sorry, the lights in the way, Autumn Skies Pumpkin Pies from last year. I finished that one, sent it to my mom to finish. I did not say finish as a pillow. I didn't specify as a pillow. And so she framed it. Which is, is just darling. Um, but 
but she found the coolest button for it. I'll pull it down and show it someday when we get closer to the autumn. Um, I have one antique sampler that I inherited through my family. I'll show it on another floss tube, and it's kind of my pride and joy. Um, and I've got I've got a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, I'll show some things. Other floss tubes. I have to record. <laughs> I have to do this. I, I mm, I'm missing people. So today I'm gonna share some recent fully finished objects, some finishes that are waiting for things. Uh the whips that I worked on um that I still have from the first part of the year and February, and then what my March plans will be. And then I have a tiny little bit of haul to share. So that's kind of my plans for this episode. Yay. So my first fully finished object that I would like to share is under the pile <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Okay. okay, this was finished in January, but I have not hung it up yet on the wall because I'm waiting for dear husband to get a nail from outside in the building. <laughs> and so as soon as he goes outside to the building and get a, gets a nail I can and hammer, I can put it in the wall. Uh, okay, so sorry for the iron. I'm on my, sitting on my ironing board. So this is Holly and Ivy Sampler. I believe, oh, I don't remember. I don't even know why I try. Um, now I'm dumping the stuff on the floor. Holly and Ivy Sampler, Country Cottage Needleworks. I stitched it between January 5th and January 11th. 2021. I was glued to the TV and the YouTube during that time, but I started it during when a Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, she had a stitch with me or stitch, um, yeah, stitch with me episode on YouTube on that Tuesday morning. So I was watching it and, um, or I watched it and could stitch with it. And then January 6th happened and so it was all downhill from there. It is stitched on a 14, 14 count Ada in ivory, and it finished 10 by 12. It... No, no, that was the size of the piece. Oh my goodness. Uh, the stitch size was um, 61 by 94. So it's like four and a quarter by six and three quarters. Oh. But I did the big frame because I like I like the map. I wanted to do that map. Um, it is pretty cute. So I really liked it. Um, and so that's going to go on the wall in the dining room. I have a spot marked with a pin. Just waiting for the nail. <laughs> it's in the building. It's in the outbuilding. It's being held hostage by my husband. Okay. Next fully finished object is uh, stitchers, no, excuse me, stitches from the heart. And this was a February stitch along sponsored by Fat Quarter Shop. It was a free stitch along and it's a free pattern on their blog. So you, it's a Jolly Jabber. You can still download it, I believe. And I did not use the called for colors. That's gonna be a theme. Did Carolyn use the call for colors? Nope. I did not. Um, if you if you're familiar with the DMC chart, I went over to the column that has 355, which is my favorite color. My favorite DMC color is 355. And I used that section of pinks, which are more muted. And so this is my stitches from the heart. I do have the conversions somewhere written down and they're just lovely. Isn't that pretty? 
I'm sorry, I just have to look at it. I did, I finished it as a pillow. I made a pillow. And it's not like I don't make pillows or I can't make pillows, but I was using the um, kind of the Lori Holt method of making pillows where you stitch all the way around and then you cut in the back and turn it inside out and stuff it and then you cover it. Use it you well you stitch it and then cover it. Except I'm gonna have to go and watch some more videos on this because I don't know how they do the edges. So I, I just made something up. I have no idea. And then I covered one of them because I um I put some fray check on it and it made a line. And so I I, I don't know. <laughs> but my proud my pride. I put pom poms. <laughs> I use that big fancy machine over there. Let me see. I use that big fancy machine that I got from my mom that I love. Um, I miss my mom. She passed away in April last year and from a heart attack, and I miss her dearly. Um, but I got her sewing machine, and I'm sorry. I'm now, like, allergic to everything. And so I made a pillow. I, made, I sewed pom-poms on it. That, mm, that was entertaining. I watched a video. There's some good videos on how to put pom poms on pillows. And I did this. <laughs> and it's so cute. I love it. Um, so uh, I started it February 2nd and I finished it Friday, whatever last Friday was. Yeah, because we went to, I went and bought the pom poms on Friday. And then I went back on Saturday and got the this, this from Hobby Lobby. It's in the jewelry section. They have a bunch of these. And, yeah. I think I may, yeah. I loved it. I love it. So I gave it to my husband. And so here, I made you pillow. <laughs> and then he immediately said that it was for one of our little dogs because we have a Chihuahua Dachshund and that's her size. So I don't know. The pins are just another Button Company pins. I thought they were cute. They usually live in a um, in another pillow or little thing that I have on a desk, and but I put them in there. And that's that lives in our china cabinet, um, in a little stoneware. It's not a bread bowl. It's like a bread basket, and it's a little stoneware thing that we got for our wedding and it is it perfectly fits in there those are the two fully finished items that I have brought to share with you today the finished items oh wait a minute I didn't talk about that uh, I used 16 count French lace Ada that is beautiful and it has this really precious pink tinge to the fabric, um, it's it's about four and a half by four and a half. I don't have the stitch count or the stitched size. Yeah, I was gonna do the heart shape as a the pillow in a heart shape, and then I decided I'm not that talented. <laughs> uh, um, I could have framed it. So, okay, another, so well, that was my two fully finished that I wanted to share. Finished item that I wanted to share. Um, I have two of them now. Uh, I'm going to get tired of unrolling this one. So this is stitched on 14 count Wren. I have the pattern somewhere in a box. It's ready to go to sale um, so this is Tom the turkey excuse me Tom the turkey was my January 20th start not saying anything about inauguration or, or political I, we were we took a road trip that day my mom's birthday first one without her and we drove down to Memphis and did all the things and I needed something that was one color. 
So that was my January 20th. I did have it finished before the end of the month, including the beading, which is new to me. I, um, it's about the third or fourth thing that I've used beads on. Uh, it's 14 count brand, picture this plus. Yeah. Um, it's the same fabric. Uh, I've done the red bird and the blue bird, and I have the black bird, the ye old curl. So this is, all of them are hands-on design, and I'm waiting for my framer to get the framing back in that I like to use, and I'm hoping that they can, and that way they're all framed the same, and if not, I'm going to cry, but it'll be fine. We'll figure it out. So that was turkey, Tom the turkey. The other one... Excuse me as I go dumpster diving because it fell on the floor. <laughs> was a heart and hand, heart and yeah, heart and hand. We won America. I'm I'm tired of taking them out of the packaging. <sighs> um. There we go. I've got the button on order. The colors that I used are red ribbon, excuse me, ribbon red, morning glory, and caramel. It is on a 14 count Ada, I'll picture this plus, and copper penny. It's got some beautiful red splotches. Love it. I I got a bunch of this for some reason. Um, was my black all nice and neat? <laughs> I'm, that's actually a good back. Okay, I'm looking at the back. Somewhere around here. Oh. Once I get the button in, then I can put it in the frame. So I got this frame, Hobby Lobby. And it's one of their standard frames that they keep carrying with the little edging. I'm not going to keep the glass in it. I'm going to let it, um, I'm going to put batting behind it and let it poof out and be 3D. And so that is going to join my patriotic section that I have on a, a desk in the hallway. Antique desk. And I decorate it. For, eh, it's been decorated for spring since I don't know last summer and then, but in the summer I'll put patriotic out and in the fall I tried to put fall out one year and I, I don't have enough fall yet well I do have some fall stuff but not that I could use anyway so that was my patriotic it's Finished, waiting to be fully finished. Okay, so that's my fully finished and my finished items. Next are whips that I worked on in February that are being put away for right now. Let me start with those. Or I only have one, really, that was a February whip that is being put away. Here's my February calendar. Um, did pretty good on my February calendar. I stopped in the middle of this one. I, I didn't get it finished. This is just my type. Fat Quarter Shop. They ran this as a stitch along. It was very fun. I enjoyed it greatly. I did a conversion with Cosmos that are just lovely. And this is how far I got. I did get all the words done. It was very important to me that I got the words done. And I got the bird done. And I've got that part of the typewriter done. And it's at a good spot for me to stop. Um, I, ja I made the edge edges jagged so it wasn't just a straight line for when I pick up next time. 
I'm probably putting this away for several weeks or months or some other time. Not that I don't love it. It's beautiful. I have another, um, the conversion, I, and why it's working for me with the Cosmo conversion. They're from a kit that was from another typewriter pattern that that quarter shop put together. It's tiny modernist. And the typewriter is pink in that pattern. But the kit that that quarter shop put together was the teal in the Cosmos. And my mom stitched that typewriter. And so when I get this one done, I can hang the two together, um, which is really cool. And there's a good story about that and um, why it's important. My mom was a business ed typing teacher. So um, it's very awesome that we have mine and her typewriters. But I paused on that one in the middle of, Jan of February because I got, I got started on it and then I wanted to pull out Quilty Love by Lori Holt um, just so Emma published it. And it was the Fat Quarter Shop's February stitch along from last year, and I wanted to finish it. So it is finished, and it is at the framers right now. So I I did that. And then it iced and snowed, and I didn't work want to work on a typewriter during all of that, so I picked out something else. So I really haven't done my work on this one. So it's going to be put away for right now. And... her out some other time. I, I have a long-term whip that um, will probably also be put away and pulled out again later, um, just not for March. Uh, Snow Village, Country Cottage Needlework. I have all of them and I'm doing them as one big piece. This may be, um, it may, I may bring this back out in April. I don't have, well, I shouldn't say that. I don't have April plans right now. Um, somebody will figure out April for me. I am doing it in the called four colors. These are my fancy floss. And then I have bags, my DMC. I have bags on top of bags. Ooh, there's some more bags. Sorry. Um, I bought all the bamboo that that's available in the world, I think. Hot commodity. Oh, my little tag on that is a puppy dog. Sorry, doggy land. Or doggy tag. I'm marking it somewhere. So Where this goes. Whee! I got um, I got the middle section done except for eyes, and I've got one house done, and I've got another house uh, 75 80 percent done. Um, words in snow. There we go. Fourteen count picture this plus no fourteen count just Ada not picture this plus in French rain it is very blue from the Ada it's very blue if you're doing the linen I don't know if it's that blue it's really blue which is fine I love it it's a beautiful color um, so that's gonna be put away I'm sorry I'm my nose is itchy my Allergies or something. Sounds good as a something. Yeah. Um. Okay. 
Okay, so that is that are those are two whips that I have that I that I worked on January and February that will be put up and away for later. Um, so, yay! Um, whips that I have from January, uh, excuse me, February that I am continuing over into March as part of March Madness. The chair. Um, so we've got that and then new starts that I want to do in March. So I plan on doing March Madness. I have my March calendar printed from the Fat Quarter Shop. They have the entire year done. If you have a color printer, it is colored and it will have a matching color, or they did a, they picked a DMC color for each month. I have a black and white printer, so every month is gray. Yay, gray month. But I am doing a Sweet 16 for March Madness, and this will get filled out as soon as the U.S. Postal Service delivers some packages that I am missing. So my mail has been held hostage somewhere in Mississippi. <laughs> And it'll come, it'll come someday. Okay, the first one um, that I will be currently working on because I do have all this stuff for it is Chester's Place with Still Stop Stitcher Designs. Jennifer Grace designed Chester's Place as a fundraiser for. Her sister's her, um, foster cat who has some very intense vet um, vet bills and does some dental work that is coming up that I would not wish on any pet or any any anything, especially a fur baby. And so she designed that pattern uh, to sell as a fundraiser to help pay. And then when they met their goal, the rest of the money was, um, or the rest of the sales were going to go towards an animal shelter. Easiest purchase I ever made. It is a beautiful, beautiful sampler. Um, which I guess it's a sampler. It's got words on it. It doesn't have an alphabet, but it has words. And it has little fur babies on it. So this is my start of Ch Chester's Place. There we go. And I had to go ahead and put Chester in there. That's Chester in, down in the bottom. I do not have his little bow tie yet. But I've got all the vine done. Um, most of the flowers on the border is done. But I had to start in that house. It's a big old red house. I love it. <laughs> big old red house. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed this one. I've enjoyed this one. It is on a 32 count natural by Feigart. Um, since I'm waiting on mail, this is actually the the one from Hobby Lobby. So, um, which I'm not I'm not a fabric or anything. I do have some nice stuff on order, but that is some also, also some really nice threads. Or, excuse me, some nice fabrics or threads. That's what I grabbed. These are the threads. I am using the DMC she put in for I don't remember. Fancy Floss, whichever one. I don't remember which one, but she included a DMC conversion and so I'm using that. I am, because I'm doing DMC, I can do some, the loop method start, and, which I'm really enjoying, is making starting so much easier than running threads under, and, yeah. That's Chester's Place. That was a February start. A lot of people are doing 
starting that one on May 1st. They were starting it today, and they there was some people who were going to do it as a stitch along. So, um, yeah. The, the other one I started and is uh, my Blackbird Design. Christmas rose. Okay, I'm really trying hard to like cover price tags and stuff, um, but they stick stick theirs right on the front. <laughs> Blackbird design design Christmas rose. Again, that house. Uh, me and red houses. Uh, I grew up in a red house. We. I think I've lived in all red houses except for one. One house was white siding. But I was only in it for like a year. Um, yeah, I think all my houses that I've been in have been red. That's what a house should be, right? Red brick house with a black roof. Excuse me while I go down memory lane. Um, I'm doing this on 32 count dry dart natural, but I got upset with it. Um, I was I was trying to do one, one over two, and I'm using the call for colors, but there's no call for colors. Weeks Dye Works, I've got everything Weeks, and um, they're beautiful. So I'm trying to do one over two, and I I, I got very upset. Um, first because I messed up and I had to back up backwards, which I don't mind ripping out, but ripping out backwards is, is very tiresome. And then I, I can't really, I couldn't really see it, see the color. And because the bird is this very, very pale, I thought it was going to be darker, but it's, it's like this light gray color, that light gray color. Um, And because I wanted to do one over two instead of two over two, but I'm thinking that I may need to do two over two, even whatever. I, I don't know. I have fabric coming <laughs> that I'm going to try. It's being held hostage right now. Oh, my earlier video. Uh, like I, anyway. So I'm going to, this one is paused for right now until the mail comes. And then after the mail comes, I will figure it out. Okay, in the purple bag. But that will be a March. It was technically a February start, but it will be a continuation in March. Christmas Rose. And it's not like it, I mean... It says Merry Christmas on it, but it's okay. My next February start that will be a March restart is, it was another freebie. Fiber Talk shared this one originally, and it was shared in a Facebook group that I'm in. And then um, there's several other floss tubers that are doing it as part of March or upcoming plans. And that is Mary Jane Fry, 1861, by Amanda Rowe, the solitary stitcher. And there she is. And um, so I guess that's. I don't, I don't know if that's the original, but here's another picture of her. She's just beautiful. I love I love the tree in the middle and the little bird. And this seemed this one seemed like a good place for me to start with these types of vintage samplers. Um so I am doing the DMC.
I do have the DMCs. Which is what it's called for. There it is. She gives like names. There is a legend. Um, so I guess if you wanted to go and use that and get some fancy floss or just, you know, look up what the colors are, you could, but I was fine with DMC. I started on a, and I bought extra because <laughs> I'm going to have to restart. Um, so this is a 28 count Swigart um, from Hobby Lobby which is in natural and there's my start now why she's a restart is I'm not half um, I am not halfway if, if I go down there that is not halfway but it is halfway on the fabric so she is longer than I originally counted or originally measured because I mismeasured because I do that me and, me and measurements do not do well sometimes. Um, when I quilt, I always buy extra fabric because I just, I, I got a number thing. Anyway, um, so when I, when I looked at it, there was parts that I could rip back and turn it and then all my stitches would be angled the wrong way. And when you're going against decades of muscle memory, that's just not happening. And so I am, I've got some fabric on order <laughs> that's coming. And so if something is not, if there's nothing in my order that I could use, that I can use just to play around with, because I ordered some 28 and 32 count then I do have another piece of 30 of 28 count and a piece of 32 count from Hobby Lobby that I can try it on. So we will see. Which I don't mind the Hobby Lobby fabric it um, for this because this is me trying. And now watch it. I'm going to get that new stuff in and just fall in love and like rip everything out. <coughs> okay. I've made a mess. Um, so that is why Mary Jane is in the purple bag because she needed some extra love and I will be giving her some extra love and as soon as I get fabric. Uh, this is one that I keep pulling out to start back on. Autumn Charm. This is her tail designs. Yeah. Um, I got this two, three years ago. Um, I believe it is sixteen count French. lace or something. I'm about halfway around the edge. <coughs> I do not know yet if I'm going to put this as part of March or um, stick this back in the bag for later on, like in the summer. And it may be easy summer stitching. I don't know yet. but I am doing it with some of the called for colors and then um, yeah the called for colors and then DMC 355 which is my favorite color and I've got one of them on the floor <clears throat> but I don't know if that's going to continue but anyway my February Patriotic. 
I'm back down to the the bottom of the stack, which was the top of the stack earlier. My February patriotic, which will be continued into March. I was it was actually my March first stitch today. I am doing the Happy Fourth of July, tiny modernist. I'm gonna do uh, when I finish this. I'm gonna make it into a pillow. It may not be a round pillow. I don't know. It's gonna be a pillow to go in my little bread bowl, bread basket. Uh, there, there we go. There's my little cheeky. It's happy Fourth of July, and that is a happy little sheet. So this was a piece of leftover 14 count ancient by Picture This Plus. There are my colors. I'm doing all kinds of fancy floss with it. This blue is gorgeous. It's it's coming out very light in this camera, but it's very dark. Um, it's two dark blues, Americana, and then some others. Ribbon red, mar toasted marshmallow, blueberry tart, and espresso bean. I have not picked out my green yet for the bottom part for the leaves. I've got to pick out a green when I get there. And Okay, um, <clears throat> so that was my February Patriotic. Remember January Patriotic, February Patriotic. It will continue to be my March Patriotic until I'm done with it, and then I will pull out another Patriotic. So I figure if I get do one Patriotic a month-ish, then I'll have lots more to put to decorate with in the summer. Here's that. Some recent haul that I've had. There's a there's a lady on Etsy that sells needle minders. Um, nerdy something nerdy needle minder nerdy something. I forget what the name of it is. I've I've bought several things from the shop though. Um, and very awesome seller. Everything comes really nicely delivered and, um, but I had to, <laughs> I got, a doctor, she's got a whole kit, a whole like three piece set for Doctor Who. Um, and then I saw this on, um, Jan Hicks got one. And so... Bernie. And since I'm a knitter, that was just extra special for me. Um, so Bernie stays in the box with um, Ronnie and a little salt box. Um, so he stays in the box. Sometimes he's out of the box. And on something but right now he's in the box right now he's in the box holding some 28 needles and ooh, the police box is actually on it lives on a lamp right now holding some 24 size needles it's pretty messy so this is a trick that I have that I wanted to share I put my needle minders inside a little metal box and then um, let's say because these are all like now tangled up. Um, let's use a knife. Let's say I'm done with this needle and I just need it to be somewhere for right now. And so I just I just plop it on top of the box. And because I've got the magnets inside the box. It's sitting on the lid. So this is sitting on the table and I can just put the needle on top of the box and then go back later and straighten up my stuff because right now it's a hot mess. <clears throat> so that, mm, it's a hot mess. I can't, mm. I can't even deal with that. Oh. 
other haul that is waiting for the rest of it to come. Cool stuff, Kate. Um, I ordered from Rhode Island, and the shop is Homespun Sampler on Etsy, and I got a sampling by Anne Shakespeare Peddler. This was, this is from the Anne, Ga uh, Anne Grant reproduction sampler, and they took the house and a couple of the motifs and the name and made a tiny little thing to go with it, to go with it. Um, it's 120 by 120 and they've got sizes for all, 14 all the way up to 40. Um, and I, I thought that was a perfect little thing to do. So I did get it. And it's charted for silks, aversois, or DMCs, needlepoint sil silks, MPS, not even MPIs, not but MPS. Um, yeah, so I thought that was cute. And so I got that. And then, um, the reason I ended up ordering from that shop online is because I was looking for this. I wanted to do a red sampler. I wanted to start a red sampler. And Plum Pudding Needle Art, I don't even know if they're still working, but I, I chose this one. I saw this one and then thought, ooh, that is so simple looking. I know it's not simple, but that is so good looking and cute. and. Oh my goodness, the sample is done on what well, looks like Ada. <laughs> um, but it's 111 by 111. So it's it's even smaller than this one. Um, but it's 8 by 8 if you do it on 14 count Ada. I will probably end up doing it on 28 or 32, depending on what came in the mail, what comes in the mail. So... Um, and I thought this one was cute. And the way they pictured it at the bottom was like that. That gives that. I can do something with that. I'm, I'm going to fancy it up. So uh, it is a nice chart on two pages. Split on the two pages. I mean, I can read this very well. The shop did throw in a nice, it was very sweet, got a little freebie as a thank you for ordering. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. That was very sweet. I can't wait. Um, I won't show it. And because it was from the shop. Um, but you can do it in red and blue and it's, it's cute. It's going to give you little pillows. Yay, I'm excited. Yay. Okay. Um, That was some haul. Some other things that I am oh. well, assistant chair is not being very assistant. <clears throat> March new starts. Blackbird Design. Um, I found this online. I'm assuming it's a freebie. Let me cover the thing. But it's I Know My ABCs, and it's a nice little ABC chart. That um, It's the capital letters, and then the lowercase, and then one through zero numbers, and it's got a couple of little doodads. It's 69 by 53, so it's a little bitty one. Um, calls for 30 count, but I'll 28 or 32. And I got most of the called for 
colors. I did pull out a piece of 14 count Rin that I might, but I, I'm thinking of going smaller with it. Ooh, I like a dumpster diamond again. Um, I got most of the called for colors. I did have to replace one of the greens and the red just by because of what was in the store. So there's my called for colors. So, and even if I did have to use the wren, it's, it's very pretty. It'll work. But it's very small, so I may be able to use something else that I have. Yay. So that is going to be a March, that's going to be like my March small. And so something cute, work on my ABCs. And I'm waiting for, um, gosh, I might be able to use part of this. March 15th starts the serendipity stitch along. So I am waiting for it. I have the bag. I have the needle minder. I did not get the little clip on thing. I'm going to be, so Serendipity is from Fat Quarter Shop. It is their yearly, every year they do, usually do a quilt along. This is the second year to do a stitch along. And it's a fundraiser for Make a Wish Foundation in Texas. And you, the patterns are free, but you should make a donation to Make-A-Wish. And they have a page set up, and you can find all the information on the Fat Quarter Shop or their blog. And if you watch their floss tube, um, Kimberly will be talking about it a lot soon. So I'm using, I got the Leaks Dye Works, because this blue is... Just, I love it. I love the variegation on it. It's, it's, ah. So, um, I have a piece that is 28 count natural. I wanted to go light instead of the dark. The pattern is like the, the, their version is done on a navy blue fabric and it's beautiful. But I'm going to do it on a light. And so it looks a little bit more, I guess, friend. And so I am ready to get started. All, everything is in my little kit, in my little kit. <laughs> and I am ready. They're going to be releasing the patterns, I believe, in two-week intervals. So starting on March 15th for that. Um, so that's a March start. March start. Waiting for fabric. Fabric. Okay. Um, if you are interested in doing a Sweet 16, there's lots of different kinds of charts online, but it's basically a two versus two versus two. <laughs> So March Madness, if you're doing that, I'm excited about March Madness. I don't quite know. I don't do Instagram, so I don't know where to do, like, there, a lot of people are doing voting, you know, which one to choose. So I may get, I don't know, the dogs to choose, my husband to choose. And um, Fat Quarter Shop, as a reminder, they have free calendars available. So if you need a calendar, you can check out their uh, blog and... Um, do a search on the blog for 2021. Actually, no, on the shop, uh, Fat Quarter Shop Shop's website, do a search for 2021 calendar, and that'll pull up. And then you can print those off. So um, help keep organized. I, um, I'm not good about my book, as some people are. I figure if I can get the name of it down, and I'm, I'm doing good. Now, some of them, like Chester's Place, I've got it, you know, all filled out. I'm excited. But 
and everything correctly where it's supposed to be. Um, which that's not it. It's not even in the correct place. I don't know. There's lots of different organization things. Um, one person, uh, several people have found, um, like, it's basically the same information as in here, as, but they have it on one sheet of paper, like really thick cardstock, one sheet of paper, and then on the back is a calendar, or like the bottom and the back is a calendar, and you mark which days you worked on that item. I am want to try to find that and print some of it from like the March stuff, some of these larger samplers and see how that works. I'll let you know what I find. <laughs> Wait. So that was some finish, some whips, some March plans, and I'm excited. And this actually is a keeper video, so I'm going to get this posted to YouTube. And I look forward to seeing y'all soon. I, I um, don't know about recording every week. Um, every two weeks seems to be really good with some of the people. Um, some post monthly. I don't know. I'm just going to go with the flow and it may take me a whole year to, I don't know, <laughs> to get the next video up. Um, maybe by then we'll figure out the space stage lighting that's in this room. And I think it's the computer. Anyway. I don't know. Have a lovely rest of your week and hope everything is going well. Hope that everybody is well um, and enjoy. Bye.